Hi there, this is Donna Lester. I'm from Taffy Crafting and as part of the 2022-23 annual catalogue launch party, I have um, decided to make a project which um, shows off the Sun Prints DSP. So I've got this little box to show you. Um, just to show you the Sun Prints DSP, um, these beautiful blue colours um, and they are really beautifully um, coordinated with some neutral colours as well. So we've got some white going on there with the blue and then we've got this lovely, I think, I think this is crumb cake. Uh, no, it's not, it's grey granite. Sorry, sorry, it's grey granite. Um, so we've got the white there with that and then some more blue against, against the white. We've got some splodges. I love splodges. I'm a, I'm a new lover of splodges after seeing some things on YouTube and Pinterest. So I really like that. A great background. And then we've got lines which just make my eyes go funny. We have this lovely... I can't even get this all on the camera. This is in the corner of this. Absolutely love this print. It's so dreamy. And then we've just got what just looks like a cloudy sky on the back of that. Um, and then some more white and lots and lots of different colours of blue going on in there. Difficult to appreciate it on a camera. Um, you need to see it in kind of like real life. So I'm just going to make this little box. Cute little box. You can make this in any size really. Um, that fits nicely on tightly on there. I don't need to um, put any other anything secure on there. Um, and then I just finished it off with a heart. Thanks from the... Um, this comes from another stamp set. What I'm going to show you today is using the Nature's Prints. I can't remember where I got that thanks from. I've completely forgotten. Um, but anyway, let's let's crack on. Because I'm kind of mindful I need to do this within about 15 minutes. So I'm going to get my scoreboard. My little scoring tool's fallen on the floor. Right. I've got a piece of 6 inch by 6 inch Knight of Navy card. I did this one in the starry sky and then realised... It, we have got a bit of match there, but not enough. I wasn't 100% happy with that. So I'm using Knight of Navy. And on the six by six piece of card, I'm going to score at two inches and four inches, and then turn it around um, 90 degrees and score again at two inches and four inches. And I'll show you what we'll do with that in a minute. I've then got a piece of Sun Prints DSP. This measures five inches by five inches. I'm actually going to score on the back. And I'm going to score this at one and a half inches all the way round. But before I do that, I'm going to move my DSP to the right ever so slightly. And I mean really slightly. So just take it over a teeny tiny bit. I can't quantify that, I'm afraid, with a measurement, but it's less than 16th of an inch. So let's just do that again. Let's move it over a bit. So one and a half all the way around. So take it to the corner and bring it in a smidge, a smidge, a tad, a teeny tiny bit, whatever you want to call it. But it is just, it's a tiny, tiny bit. And let's just bring that in a bit more. Oops, let's do that again. That's it. So that's our lid. And that's our box. Let's get rid of that. Now with a pair of scissors, snips work well with this. My snips have disappeared. They are around, they are on my rather messy table. I've just discovered them. There they are. Oh no, that's not them. <laughs> right, let's just stick with these. And I'm going to fold and burnish everything first. All the way around. And we'll do the same just while I've got the bone folder out on our piece of DSP. Just be a little gentler with that. So we've got that. So with each of these, this is what we're going to do. 
So we've got two score lines here. You're going to cut up to the first score line. You're going to do this on this side and then on the other side. I'll show you. So you're going to cut up to the first score line and then on these two outside squares, come in a bit and then cut up to the corner. You don't have to be super neat or measure this. We're just forming the tabs. I just literally hack a bit off there. It looks a bit messy. I promise you, you don't see it. So up into the corner, up into the corner and whip a bit off there. I've got that bit hanging, let's take that off. Turn it around and the same again. Now in a moment when we come to stick this together, you can use your glue of choice. My glue of choice will be um, tear and tape, but you could do this with liquid glue or you could do it with um, what I call dispenser tape. Like seal or seal plus, whatever, whatever you prefer. Just cutting those up into those corners. Okay, and we're going to do the same with our lid. So just going to very quickly. I don't speed up my videos on this bit. My YouTube videos, I know people prefer to see it in, in real time. That's, that's my preference to do it. So you're going to have to watch me do this now. I always make boxes like this maybe for Christmas favours, for um, small gifts. Fits a little um, Ferrero Rocher chocolate in perfectly. But you can make these differing sizes. So, oops, I haven't, I haven't chopped those off. Like that. Let's get this back again. So obviously that's the inside of our box because this is how this is all going to go together. So on the outside is where we're going to put our adhesive. And like I said, my choice is tear and tape. Now I would normally do this a little bit, um, slow down a little bit on this, but I would put one there and one there. But just because we don't want to be watching me sticking glue onto a box, I'm just going to do this very, very quickly. Now with each of these, I like to use this to take off my um, backing tape. Just while I'm doing this, the other product that I'm going to use today is the heart punch. So I've got all that ready. I've already punched those out and, and stamped them. So each of these tabs goes into the inside of our squares. Get the cut side to match the scored edge as accurately as you can. Now obviously, if you're using liquid glue, you'd be holding on to that until it sets. I don't, I don't have the patience for that, but tuck the tab in and match up and then tuck the tab in and match it up. Really good to take your time on that bit. So there is our finished bottom of our box and I just press those tabs in. And actually I didn't put any glue on the other bits and it hasn't really made any difference, but it does lift a little. So if you wanted to put some more tear and tape on those edges I would recommend that. So there's the bottom of our box. I'm going to do the same with my lid. So again a piece of adhesive and get it as close to that score line as you possibly can because then that just reduces the chance of any lift or kind of coming away from the box. And then with my 
picky tool. Let's just take those off like that. I'm going to do the same, just the cut side to match the um, scored side. Again, just a process just to take your time over. Now, if you're wondering, well, why were you moving the DSP over slightly? It's to make this a tighter fit. If we just, if we left that where it was um, and just did it at one and a half, it'll be too tight a fit. Sorry if that makes sense. So if we don't move it over, it will be too tight because actually this is just slightly bigger than two inches. So that's what we have to do to make sure that that fits on there. If we did it a sixteenth of an inch, it would be too baggy. So that makes that, that a really nice, perfect fit. That's going nowhere. Even if I put sweets or something in there, that's going nowhere. Okay, but that, it still moves about. Okay, the tighter the fit that that goes, then this starts pushing in and it just doesn't look very nice. So um, a tip there if you're making boxes. So there's our box. Now what I've got already prepared, stamped out in Night of Navy, um, a scalloped heart from the Heart Duo punch pack and then using the Hello There stamp in Nature's Prints which is part of the suite with some prints paper with beautiful font. I've um, stamped that in Night of Navy onto, the, onto that heart and then just using some dimensionals just going to Put those on there. Let's put another one. I'm normally very frugal with my dimensionals, but for a special occasion, for a launch night, I'm, I'm going to splash out. I think I'm going to get this under 15 minutes, which I'm very proud of. Just place that on there like that, just so that we get that border all the way around. And putting those dimensionals on there just lifts it and gives it, gives it a bit of dimension. Now, this teeny tiny thing over here is some ribbon. Um, and I have, I'll be honest with you, I've forgotten the name of it. It is the metallic woven ribbon, and this is in Starry Sky. It's, it's beautiful, and I like it because I can do a decent bow. I'm not very good with bows. I've put a mini glue dot on the back of it and I'm just going to pop that on there. Now, even though it's not Knight of Navy, I don't think it matters. So I'm going to put that on there and with another couple of dimensionals. Whoops, let's get that on there. Oh, I'm struggling to get these off. Get off, there we are. That one's already been done. Let's just flip this off. I normally use mini dimensionals with a pair of tweezers. And there we go. Let's just put that on there like that. I think this would work just as well with white um, cardstock if you wanted to, um, or white cardstock that you have um, perhaps stamped. Um, but yeah, so there's a little two inch box that would perfectly fit sweets and things on. I can't even show you any sweets because once they appear on my desk, they've gone. So I hope you like it. Showing off the Sunprints DSP uh, beautifully there. Gorgeous paper. Um, and I hope that project has inspired you to try something, uh, something 3D. Thanks ever so much. Bye bye.